Uh, and also, you know that you see if a soil having more shear strength, it has more slope stability. So uh, this this is a well known fact. So shear strength is major factor which is influencing the slope stability. Next, particle size distribution. See, I have a coarse material consisting rough texture have greater opposing frictional force. What I would like to tell you. So, a soil having coarse particle with uh, rough texture, rough texture, they have first more friction, they have first more angular internal friction, they have more stability. And one more point density. So, density is very difficult to tell you. I told you already, density, as you know. Uh, it, it, you see, uh, density is good to have density, but uh, when it comes to slopes, we repeatedly tell him density, uh, which increases the, which increases the driving forces, those acting against the stability of slope, because it increases the gravitational force, especially uh, in slope. In, in in slopes in slopes what will happen because you know slope is a coded pile mass if, if the density of soil is low density i can say row or you can say unit weight gamma so both are valid so if your unit weight of the sliding mass is more obviously uh, the factors uh, that's why uh, there is a demand for lightweight materials, uh, especially for construction of embankments. That's why density is also a very important factor, just like CN5. Just like CN5, cohesion and angular frictional friction. The another parameter which, which we must highlight is density. So as long as you see uh, density is increases, there is a problem with, you know, once uh, density is increases, your weight of sliding weights uh, the soil within this uh, failure surface, uh, the weight of the sliding wedge, uh, that what I would like to call the sliding wedge means soil within the failure surface, this is failure surface. So uh, now this uh, weight is increases, obviously the factor safety will be reduces. That is why we are moving towards lightweight materials. Many times I usually to tell you, just one more thing as you know, very important factor that we have to consider is uh, in a lighter way we can say moisture content but uh, in a technically uh, strong uh, expression permeability so if you see if the permeability of soil is less uh, that means you see uh, once permeability is less there is a chance for moisture capture in soil so once you see moisture is developed inside the soil so, pore water pressure will be increases. So, altogether effective stress increases. The stress between particles decreases. Then, what will happen to shear strength will be reduces. So, now what happened to your factor safety? Factor safety gets reduces. That's why, please understand that permeability and moisture content also influence. So, that's why. Uh, we look for uh, what I say, uh, providing dryness in soil a slope in in soils in earthen slope. So if you provide dryness, so then uh, we can reduce this moisture content and also we can able to handle the uh, what I say uh, problems associated with the water. So that's why we need to understand. Uh, the importance of dryness. So if you provide dryness system, so we can uh, reduce development of uh, excessive pore water pressure, and altogether we can uh, uh, we can have uh, better better effective stress, so that uh, we will have shear strength. So that's why. Uh, we need to understand uh, uh, the moisture content and permeability. They, are, they will also decide the fate of the uh, spectral uh, stability of slope. 
and I would like to discuss with you people this is very important point. So this is very important. You see, I have one question now. So I have two slopes. Let me tell you, this is flat slope. I have one more slope. Uh, this is the angle of slope. That means, uh, let me assume it is uh, just 25 degrees. Okay. So, or you can write 26 degrees if it is two horizontal, one vertical. So, what I would like to tell you, if it is steep slope, I can tell you the steep slope means beta is 60 degrees. Uh, so, uh, what is your uh, idea about stability? Now, which slope is more stable? What I'm asking, uh, 26 degrees slope? Or we have a steep slope, its angle is 60, even more than 60. So, which slope is more stable? Which slope is more stable? So, either flat slope or steep slope. So I can expect the answer from you people. So, please think for one second and tell me which slope is more stable, either flat slope or steep slope. Get ready to give your answer. If the height of embankment is increasing, if the height of the embankment is increasing, just like what you are reading, heights and distances. If the height of the embankment is increasing, what will happen to slope stability? See, if the height of the embankment is increasing, if the height of the embankment is increasing, the stability of slope is decreasing. So, if the height of C, uh, if your embankment height is just 3 meter, 2 meter, so obviously they have more stability. Whereas if your embankment height is, height is uh, 7 meter, 8 meter, 10 meter, so the, if the height of the slope is increasing, the stability of slope is decreasing. So finally, what I can conclude now, so height of the slope uh, is inversely proportional to slope stability. I can tell you the angle of slope that we are trying to call beta. If beta increases, your slope stability will be decreases. The slope stability is inversely proportional to geometry of slope. Geometry of slope, we are trying to call it as uh, beta and h. What is h? Can anyone tell me what is h? Height of the, height of the embankment. Height of the a magnet. See, as you know, uh, you are seeing one object. Manam uh, plane is there, right? That object ki manam the grid angle is there. Angle perigut. Adhe object ki manam dooran ka vachan kardi. Angle ta ki pa. So I am telling you the example for flat slope and steep slope. As the height of the uh, your uh, embankment is increasing, the slope stability is decreasing. That's why. So uh, geometry of slope generally we trying to understand with the angle of slope and height of slope. Height of slope is nothing but height of embankment. Height of embankment. So let me write, discuss with you erosion. This we already discussed. Erosion, you know, different forms of erosion, wind erosion, water erosion. They cause instability to slope. Are any dynamic force, for example, you see, uh, dynamic force means it's a broad word, but you know, the earthquake force, seismic force, it is also comes under a dynamic force. So many times you see during earthquakes, uh, we used to observe a landslide. Landslide 